Hello everyone, I am Brian Danielli and with me is my good buddy Todd Adams. We're inside the Bowers Mart here in Henderson, Nevada. Strike Zone Bowling Lanes, you got to come check them out. Phenomenal 72 lanes, but uh, today it's all about bowling balls. Preview, first impressions and what our expectations are for some new releases and starting it off with the Brunswick Defender Hybrid. We're going to unbox this bad boy for you, so uh, kind of excited to get it out of here. Let's take a look, Brian. Novel approach to uh, ball reviews. Kind of walk you through it as we're getting this ball out of the bag here. I'm going to hand it to Todd. We're going to first give you our impressions of the bowling ball. Primarily Todd here. He's a professional bowler with over 40 years experience myself. I'm an amateur, so I'm going to give you my take on things from an amateur's perspective. Uh, after we're done previewing the balls, of course, we're going to talk about Todd, uh, some layout possibilities for the ball. We're going to watch Todd drill it, and we're going to throw the ball on a house shot sports shot, and then we're going to give the final take. So at this point, we're going to give the ball a spin. Nice looking ball, beautiful color. And I'm going to let my man Todd take it away because, well, he's the expert. Todd, what do you got to say about this bad boy? Man, does this ball look good. Um, not only bowling balls look good, but we want them to roll good as well. Um, I really like this one, guys. So uh, Brunswick has a new chemical in their mixture of their cover stock. Um, first thing I want to denote is the HK22 hyperkinetic uh, infusion in the cover stock. It's going to make the colors pop a little bit harder, uh, nicer shelf appeal. Um, not only that, but I think it's going to set on the lane uh, a little bit better down lane motion uh, if that's what we're looking for in our uh, combinations of layouts and and, and core combinations and what we want our ball to do. Um, this ball has the Portal X core, uh, along with, like I said, the uh, Hyperkinetic 22 cover stock. Um, it's got a 2.473 RG with a 054 differential and a 015 intermediate differential. This ball is asymmetric core. Uh, this ball is gonna be a big, big motor down lane. Um, it's uh, a hybrid cover, so you got the best of both worlds uh, being infused there. You got a solid cover with the pearl cover com coming together as a blend. Um, this ball is absolutely beautiful. Todd, so, what, uh, w w what can you know, bowlers <clears throat> expect as you run through the spectrum? You know, a beginner bowler, someone a little bit more advanced, you know, on up to the professional level. What, what kind of things can they expect from this ball? It it's all comes down to motion, uh, where we want our ball to pick up uh, its roll down lane. So bowling ball has to do three things. It has to, it has to skid, it has to hook, and it has to roll. Um, how we throw our ball, speed uh, dominant or rev dominant, will depend on where this ball is going to fit in your bag. Um, so if a beginner bowler comes in and says, hey, you know what, they, they see this ball and they're like, wow, it's gorgeous. Uh, we're not going to tell them no. We want to drill it for them and, and, and try to help them specifically with their game. Um, what you can expect out of this cover stock, out of this core, this ball is a down lane and then a, what we call a hockey stick kind of motion. Uh, the ball is going to go down lane and make a sharp angular move to the pocket. It's not a pearl, so uh, the cover stock is also generated at uh, 500, uh, 1,000, 1,500, and compound finish not polish but compound there's a difference what's the difference between a compound finish and a polish finish so a polish finish is a high gloss so if you were uh, gonna polish your your car if you're gonna go out for the day polish your car you're gonna want to start with a compound why because it's got grit to it and the grit helps it not be so highly polished and highly sensitive too quickly then uh, the, so the polish we can put on later on if we feel like this ball's just not quite getting down lane far enough. If we wanted to see a little bit more sharper motion, we might consider putting some polish on the ball. But the ball comes with compound, which is why I think uh, this ball is really set up for success for all kinds of bowlers, not just high performance bowlers, professional bowlers, professional amateurs, but um, just bowlers a variety. Like myself. Yeah, just a variety of bowlers that can use this ball. 
Sounds good. Hey, so real quick, you know, wrapping it up for everybody, what's your expectation of this ball's performance on the house shot where we're going to have you throw a game? And then what's your expectation when we get it on a sports shot where we're going to have you throw a game with it? Yeah, I really believe uh, this ball is going to be used in league on a house shot, probably somewhere between a, a game and maybe two, uh, depending upon your style. We might see you have to switch balls later on uh, to get that more down lane motion. Um, as, a how, as, a, as a sports shot kind of ball, this is going to be a ball you're going to move in, uh, create a bunch of angle. Uh, you should be in it for three, four, three or four or five games type of mentality. Um, and then you're going to ball down and, and go from there. But this is going to be a very, very usable bowling ball. What the, to wrap it up, what's the uh, cost of this bowling ball? Manufacturer suggested retail price. What's this ball running? This ball's running $249.95. Um, that does include drilling. So without the drilling, for the people at home that can't come in and get a bowling ball from you and have it drilled by uh, the man? Undrilled price is uh, $199.95. Fantastic. So the Defender Hybrid is available at Bowers Mart, BowersMart.com. We're happy to uh, have them allow us to film inside their store here in Henderson. So be sure to check them out. And uh, if you are in Henderson, you definitely want to get with my man Todd here, best driller in town. Uh, looking forward to showing you more about this ball in the next uh, coming videos. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. It's a, it's a great day. Let's give it one more spin. Woo! The release day is always a good day. <laughs> it is indeed.